Welcome back to Sprague River Homestead. I'm Nikki on another 4-H Friday. So the best place to start when we start talking about a 4-H project and rabbits is just going to be the basic terminology. Now we got to remember that a lot of the leaders that are out there that are that are leading these 4-H kids and 4-H groups are not necessarily rabbit raisers themselves. Sometimes you'll get into an area where you do actually have rabbit breeders that are leading these programs. But more often than not, it's just somebody in the in the community that is volunteering. So what this means is we get a lot of incorrect terminology being used, uh, which for day-to-day -day use may not be a big deal, but it will be something that these kids will get dinged on when they start doing a show and ship and actually showing their rabbits at fair or at Arba shows or, or whatever they're going to be doing. One of the reasons that, that we know for a fact that terminology is not correct is the number of 4-H kids that use the word bunny. So bunny is not actually a thing. We'll get into that in a minute. It is a slang word. Uh, it is a pet word, but it is not something we actually use in the agricultural industry because it's not really a thing. It's just a nickname. It's a pet name. Um, so let's just get started with the basics, right? So your basics are going to be a buck, and that's going to be an adult male rabbit. Uh, you can have junior bucks, which are young guys, um, but basically anything that's going to be a male is a buck. Your does are your female rabbits. Um, there is no word that I have ever seen used for neutered rabbits. So neutered rabbits um, or spayed rabbits, you will sometimes see kids bring these in for showmanship purposes. Um, there's not a lot of vets unless you're in a big... Um, you know, like metropolis type area. There's not a lot of vets that will do a spay or neuter on rabbits. Uh, so as far as I know, and I could be wrong, if you've got a different answer, leave it down in the comments. As far as I know, there is no direct terminology for a spayed or neutered male or female rabbit. All right, so the act of giving birth is going to be a kindle or kindling. There are some species that do this, but it, that's actually what rabbits are. It's it's a kindle or kindling, and that is just the whole birthing process. Um, a lot of people will call a new litter, which is a group of, of baby rabbits. Uh, they will call that for the first week a kindle. You can do that. That's perfectly acceptable. But that's all it is. It's just the whole process. Now, for breeding, breeding is just breeding. That's mating two rabbits together. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so the baby rabbits themselves are called kits. That is actually a slang term in it of itself. So biologically speaking, as far as names go, uh, baby rabbits are actually called kittens. I have never seen anybody refer to them as kittens. Everybody pretty much calls them kits. That's the accepted terminology. Uh, but that kit is going to be anywhere from birth all the way up to weaning age. And weaning will vary depending on what you're doing. Anywhere from 6 to 10 weeks. Um, at that point, when they have been weaned, they become juniors. So in all breeds of rabbits, juniors are going to be from that weaning age all the way up to 6 months. And that is... Universal. It doesn't matter if it's a big rabbit or a little rabbit. They are all going to be considered a junior up until the six months of age. At six months, depending on the class of your rabbit, which I'll talk about it in a second, depending on the class, at six months they either go to an intermediate, and that happens in a lot of your bigger rabbits, or they become a senior, meaning that they're adults. In the rabbits that go to intermediate, they stay at intermediate until eight months, and then at the end of eight months, nine months, they go to a senior, and that is considered adult. Okay, so rabbits are generally broken down into what is called a four class or six class. And what this means, because uh, most 4-H programs, um, most fair programs actually go off what the ARBA standards are. What that means is that they show in senior buck, uh, senior doe, junior buck, junior doe. That's a four class. There are four classes. In sixth class, you've got all of that plus an intermediate buck and an intermediate doe. That's literally what it's called. Now, in 4-H, a lot of times you'll see it called lightweight, and that's going to be your four-class rabbits, or heavyweight, which is going to be your six-class rabbits. That's really all it is. I've never seen a medium weight uh, in 4-H. I guess it could happen, but generally everything is going to come down to that. Now, what causes that distinction? Basically, it's the maturity time, right? So you've got rabbits, most of your rabbits that are under um, a mature weight of eight 
pounds or so are all going to be four class rabbits. Everything that's going to be higher than that tends to be a six class rabbit. There are a few, you know, breeds that kind of hang out in the middle, uh, particularly silver martins that the does can go up to nine and a half pounds, bucks will go to nine, and the harlequin, which is the exact same weight range. Now those rabbits are actually considered for a class based on the rate of maturity. Um, part of that is you can kind of look at what the base weight is. So on the low end for your harlequins and your silver martins, bucks only need to be six and a half pounds, so pretty small, and does need to be a minimum of seven. So you can kind of tell by looking at uh, the overall weight for a breed as to what class it's going to be in. Uh, there are very, very, very few exceptions to that. And in 4-H uh, terms, like I said, most of the time, anything that's going to mature over 8-9 pounds is going to be in that heavyweight class. So other things you need to know is gestation. This doesn't come up a whole lot, and we, we do see it a lot more in the intermediate and senior kids where they're talking about gestation rates. This is the length of time that your rabbit is pregnant. This is from the moment that you breed it to the moment it kindles, and it's going to vary. Uh, 28 to 35 days tends to be most common. They can go as long as 40, um, and different breeds do different things. Average is about 31, 32 days. That's when most of my breeds go, um, but that is what that means. That gestation is just the length of time that they're pregnant. Okay, so coming back around to bunny which I said I would mention. So if you paid attention to what I was saying about what they're called at what ages, never in there is there ever a time that we use the word bunny. It's not actually a term uh, that's used in the scientific and agricultural community, which is really what 4-H is about. We're teaching these kids to learn the correct terminology to hopefully, hopefully have a future in ag. So we don't use pet words. We don't use things like bunny. Um, certainly we get a lot of kids that are just doing showmanship that just have a pet rabbit that use the word bunny. Uh, but keep in mind that if you use that while you're judging, being judged for showmanship, the judge will ding you because it's not a correct word. So um, something to be cognizant about. All right, guys, so that is your basic terminology. I'm sure there will be other stuff coming up as we go along, but those are the basic words to know. Those are the things, especially as a first year, you'll get you'll get asked about, uh, especially buck doe, kindling, gestation, that kind of thing. So um, keep that in mind. If you have other questions or other words that you're not sure what it means, leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. So that is it for this edition of our 4-H Friday. We'll see you next time. Happy homesteading!